but so this is a quote that one of my friends said and then I tried to look it up online if you got it from somewhere and it's entrepreneurship all right so entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life like most people won't so that you can spend the rest of your life like most people can't oh so he runs his own um uh what's it called uh street food so he was but then yeah he said it to me and i was like oh, that's awesome um because he was always busy actually we were dating <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, why are you always busy? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm Penny Panati. I am operations lead at LACA. Ooh, operations is this magical role. Um, to be honest, if you ask loads of operations people um, in different jobs, they'll tell you something different. It's this magical role where you get to um, go and, and look at the different sectors or go and look at the different parts, moving parts of the company. Um, you never do anything like the same. Like it, there is no same task every day. You'll come and do something different. Um, you basically go and analyze um what is going on in the business you do flow charts from like how do we go from a to b you do plans you think about like six months in advance what's going to happen then uh you look at the finance side of it you might look at the hr side of it um yeah it's a magical role it's a floating role When I was at school, I loved languages. Language is my thing. Uh, I can learn languages really quickly. So I actually wanted to be a translator. And then my dad was like, nope, you're going to study business studies. So I was like, sure, he's paying the bill. Like, fine, I'll go and study business studies. Which I loved anyways. I love, you know, financial stuff. Uh, I love the course. I made loads of friends and it was great. And then everyone was like, oh, I'm gonna go and work in a bank. And I was like, sure, I'll, I'll go work in a bank too. Like, that's what's everyone doing. Like, I'll do the same. And then, so loads of people did, went um, and, you know, applied for jobs, they got the jobs. I then went on to do a master's. Um, and whilst I was um, studying in my undergrad, I was working part-time in um, Apple retail store. Um, so I did my master's, it was great, whilst working part-time. Again, super smart people, um, amazing, intense. And then again, everyone was like, okay, I'm gonna go work in a bank, and I was like, Sure, I'll also go work in a bank. Like, why, everyone's doing it, why am I not doing it? Like, we study the same thing, surely we should go in the same path. Um, so then applying was horrific. I really disliked it. The amount of interviews and tests that they give you is ridiculous. Understandable, but ridiculous. Um, to a point that I just gave up. Um, and then I saw one of my friends and he was working in a bank and he was working like 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and he would come home and, and like, not like it you would vent to me over the weekends and I was like well life is more than just a job um so or, or rather you spend the majority of your time at work so why hate it so then I continued working in um Apple um doing different roles at Apple and I loved it it's a great company again brilliant people innovative company you're it's super fast paced and it came to a point it was Christmas I can't remember the year, but one of my colleagues said, so what did you achieve this year? And I looked at him and I said, I actually did nothing. I didn't travel, I didn't do anything. I literally wasted a whole year of my life doing nothing but working. And so then after that point, I reflected a lot and I said, I cannot waste another year of my life. Um, time is short already, um, you have to grab it. Uh, so then I moved into another storm which was great and then i wasn't getting anywhere with my role i was simply just like a, a shop assistant which is perfectly fine however i wanted to do more i wanted to be more so i said man let's just change completely let me do something completely different go out of my comfort zone so i applied um for internships i was like do you know what i'm gonna start from scratch like what's the worst that can happen so i applied for internships and startup roles 
and startups now is a big thing at the time it was like yeah cool there are startups out there it's really risky it's you know and so I just went for it I applied for an internship I went there for an interview I did my test day and they were like cool come on board and they wanted me Monday to Friday um, it was unpaid um, so then I was like I need money so they offered me obviously Monday to Friday I needed money so I was working Saturday Sunday so for three months I was working seven days a week uh, Monday to Friday my internship um, doing events uh, so helping the events manager and Saturday Sunday I was working at Apple to get my money because <laughs> I need to live and um, everyone literally everyone said I was crazy my mum said I was crazy my brother said I was crazy but I followed what I wanted to do and that is for the first time in my life that is really what I wanted to do no one was telling me otherwise so I did it and it paid off those three months were absolutely crazy I had very little sleep um, but it was yeah the best three months and, and then I got a job um, at, at startup bootcamp it's called and uh, Startup Bootcamp is just a, a side note it's an accelerator where they help startups grow so they bring in 10 startups they help them grow in finance and mentorship and investment and all the different areas um, so then I left my job at Apple and then I started working there full-time and again that was a whirlwind it was amazing it gave me it gave it gave me my life back <laughs> it gave me passion to do more to be more um, and so I went from, so I got the role as events manager. So I did events and then delved into operations. So every six months, my role would slightly change, keeping my base tasks still the same, but then doing more. So uh, I don't know, my base would be just, you know, managing events. So we did a lot of events during the year. And then, you know, after six months, I would be scouting for startups. So I would then look at, you know, all the startups that are around. And then after six months, it would be like more operations. And so every six months I had the chance to add on tasks that would help me. After two years, I then got operations role. Again, it was very different to operations what I do now. It was still uh, looking at the business as a whole. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got operations role, which I was super happy about. That's what I wanted to get at. Um, and then after three years, it was, um, yeah, it was amazing. It gave me a lot of contacts. It gave me a lot of mentorship. It gave me, um, you get to meet other startups. You get to meet other people that are passionate about actually changing the world or doing something different. And then, so Laka was actually a startup in that accelerator in the second year. And um, obviously they were doing a, a great job and then they got uh, their investment round, their seed investment, so they got money. So they went and did a hiring spree and they approached me. They said, Penny, do you wanna join? I was like, yes, of course I wanna join. Um, and so here I am. I was very much, uh, let me just learn it without fully understanding it, but I learned it. And there were times that there were no practical examples given. So the transition was really hard going into a theoretical world, actually going into somewhere where you're implementing the stuff that you learnt. But I guess it's the, I think it's the biggest out of comfort zone you'll ever experience because it's going from somewhere you're shielded, you're, there's teachers to guide you, there's, um, I don't know, your friends to guide you, and then you're going into this place that it's like, you're kind of on your own. I was absorbing everything, learning. I was talking to loads of people in the company um, just to get their intake. I was literally just like a sponge. So A, if they're actually passionate about building a company, um, that's what we're about, that's what we're doing. So you need to be all in. B, if they don't mind going the extra mile or if they do actually go the extra mile, it's not a nine to five job. It's not a Monday to Friday job either. <laughs> it is just, you are all in. Um, someone who can just as a team player, I absolutely value team players a lot, especially in a small company or even in, in like a bigger company. I think team players are exceptional. And then fourth, if there's a cultural fit, you hire people that are kind of like you or can at least you get along with, have a good chat. So yeah, I think those four things. I would say go and talk to everyone. Uh, everyone will give you a piece of advice or a tip. Um, 
that will help you or you'll resonate with. Or...